there's the Spider Mastermind, and I wanted to put him at the end of the third episode because I thought he looked really cool. And here we see the mighty spider demon. In her natural habitat, she is quite deadly. A massive chain shotgun mowing down doom guys at an alarming rate. However, outside of this, she is. Well, a bit of a joke. You could go as far as saying she kind of sucks from a gameplay perspective. But I've always thought this was a huge shame because the design is so cool. Yeah, yeah, it looks like Krang from Ninja Turtles, but actually, it's inspired by the leader brain from Invaders from Mars mixed with a gremlin, apparently. But anyway, it appears id Software themselves thought that she wasn't quite ready gameplay-wise. I've always been fascinated by John Romero's release of the Doom beta content that showed this image in particular. Spider Demon was meant to have a secondary magic attack, and how might it have worked? Well, not even the id boys could figure that one out. Hence, they scrapped it. But given how long Doom's been around and how many tools there are, for example, D-Hack that we can use to modify the game, how about us as fans? Could we figure something out to use for the Spider Demon's magic attack that actually works in vanilla Doom? Have a think about it, and leave a comment if you think you have a really cool idea for the Spider Demon's secondary magic attack. In the meantime, I'm going to show you my idea. I decided I did want to challenge myself a bit and make it possible to do in vanilla Doom, which of course means we're going back to the act. First things first though, that sprite needs a full set of rotational frames. And now I need to find a set of states to put those sprites into. Because remember, if you want your D hack to work in vanilla, it needs to use existing frames from a hard coded list of states. So I thought, why not use some of the frames from the spider demon itself? Because it has a lot of walking frames. We could just use some of those and adjust the timing of the ones that we leave. That should make it so that it walks maybe a little bit differently, but functionally it should stay the same. The other benefit of using the Spider Demon's own walking frames is they all call functions to either make the sound of its legs or simply to chase down the player. This means any of them can be used to call a different function if we want to, such as attacking. So now we have the sprites and the states. What are we actually going to make it do? I think it'd be too easy and kind of boring to make it just simply throw a projectile. I thought about a melee attack that only triggers when you're really close as a way of sort of backing the player off, but I ran into two major problems. Number one is why would you ever get close to a spider demon? It'll just tear you to shreds. And number two, that same janky hitbox that makes it hard for you to hit it with melee attacks means it's hard for it to hit you with its own melee attack. If we ignore Doom 1 entirely and just look at Doom 2, it could just spawn a lost soul. It's been done. That's better than a projectile and it actually works, but it looks kind of silly and I still think we can do better than that. Which means there's really only one other kind of attack to use from the vanilla attacks now. Archfile magic. This is the one I want to use, but the question is how exactly to implement it. How do you get a secondary ranged attack to trigger in vanilla Doom? I could include it in the regular walking frame so it does it on a regular fixed basis. Or I can tie it to the pain state so that it attacks back every time that it gets hurt. And this is the one that I prefer. And check it out. I made a second frame of animation that gives you some better visual feedback about when it's actually going to attack. I call this game design. I actually really like the way it doesn't deal the blast damage either. When another demon uses the archwell attack, it only seems to do the hitscan damage. But this actually feels more fair to me in this case, because you don't get punished too much for triggering the pain state. I like this implementation because it forces you to think about where and when you're dealing damage to the spider demon. You might need to take cover or else you'll just suddenly get hit with some hitscan. It does make fighting it a bit more grindy, but it adds a little extra layer of strategy to the spider demon and there's this extra edge of menace that I think the spider demon has been lacking. But, like I asked earlier, what would you do? How do you think the spider demon could be made more deadly, with or without the magic attack? And it doesn't have to be de-hacked either, what about just using GZ Doom to go crazy? Let us know all in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll leave links to the de-hack stuff down below, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.